Hi friends, I'm Sincerely Unique, and we are covering my favorite event every year in Final Fantasy XIV, the Moonfire Fair. I only do two videos covering events on the channel here in Final Fantasy XIV, and that is always the Moonfire Fair, which is the first ever event I've ever done in this game, and the Rising. <laughs> so yeah, this is my third, fourth, fourth Moonfire Fair. And these are always so fun. And yeah, let's just check it out. Mayoru, Ma, oh my God, Mayaru Moyaru is calling upon all adventurers to join the hottest event of the year. Ah, my prayers are answered as the sun beat down upon my brow. My flagging spirits were kept aloft by the hope of your return. Now that you're here, I can say the Moonfire Fair success is assured. Our festival is a long and storied history that hardly bears repeating, but for all intents and purposes, it's become the premier event of our guild. We hope to stoke the fires of adventurous hearts, young, old, and all ages in between. The season's main event has become a favorite among adventurers and revelers alike, the Eurasian Nimble Warrior Course. Keeping vigil over the proceedings is the Sunshine Savior, guardian of the sandy speeches. Who is the Sunshine Savior, you ask? If your interest has been so piqued, then I encourage you to make haste to Costa del Sol, where Ermaga stands at the ready to apprise eager volunteers of the details. Da 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 da! I just realized there's been no music playing this entire time. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I was like, wait, where's the quest accepted jingle from a rumor board? Ermaga awaits to induct eager volunteers. Well, of course, always. I am so excited. The Moonfire Fair Plaza is so pretty at this time of year. Literally, just, it makes me so happy to come over to Lenosha every year. I remember my first Moonfire Fair, I think it was August 2020, and there was this fate over here. <laughs> There was this fate with like a big old bomb or something like that. I don't even remember. It was it was wacky. Oh wait, there's a there's a I think there's a shop. No no, you're just advertising. Where's the shop then? Cause I know I guess the shop. Wait, this is the shop I was thinking of. Yeah, you want to come here? Oh, she has the new outfit. So yeah, it's just a bunch of miscellany. It's literally all miscellany. I probably get more stuff for finishing the quest. Maybe we'll see. Well, if it isn't Salix, as sure a guest to the Moonfire Fair as stifling heat. Did Mayuru Moyuru's mention of the Sunshine Savior stir that heroic spirit of yours? Oh, of course. <laughs> I see the new outfit there. I should hope so, because between you and me, we're in a bit of a bind. If you wouldn't mind lending an ear to our troubles, I'd appreciate the opinion of a fellow adventurer. Much obliged, you see. The fair's been no stranger to difficulties, make no mistake. People swimming where they shouldn't be, monsters treating the beaches like a bloody banquet, and all manner of other perils have put a damper on what's meant to her to be a time of celebration. To combat this, I came up with the idea of the Sunshine Savior, a brave soul whose duty would be to nip such problems in the bud before they become everyone's headache. Not only would they deem our patrons safe, but their deeds would raise the esteem of the guild very well. And not only that, but it would be the perfect opportunity to give our fresh blood a chance to sign. So I went looking for a stout arm from within our ranks. And after a process of strange and vetting, settled on an eager youth by the name of Lionel. The lad seemed to be a perfect fit, but his spirits have taken a sharp dive since he arrived in Costa del Sol. Whatever the cause of his troubles, it is plain that he needs a guiding hand or two to see him through them. So if you got the time and inclination, I'd like you to help set him on the right path. Or once he's found his footing, I won't ask that you dote on him any longer. How about it? Well, I ain't doting anybody but this Ellison man next to me. That's uh, I gotta say that first, Chief. Well, you're a lifesaver friend now, then. Follow me and I'll make introductions. Lionel should be somewhere near the eighth right, so let's go find him. Oh my god. You know it's really fun playing Moonfire Fair because I see players who haven't logged in in forever. I guarantee you half of these people have not logged in for like weeks. Malboro, my server Malboro, uh, fun fact, has the least amount of active players out in North America, but um, we have the most amount of registered players. So when Malboro has their players wake up, they're like a sleeping giant. It is like a horde. They just pop out of nowhere. Well, 
Well, people are getting their achievements. I wanted my achievement. Apologies, but the lad seems to be missing. I explicitly told him to wait here. They're all using last year's outfits. Get your bloody hands off my goods. <laughs> what happened? So sorry, terribly sorry. I only thought to help. The crates looked awfully heavy, you see. A hero man. Uh, but your rights would be wroth at me. Why, yes, why, for you need my aid with my arms thinner than a sprouting breed. I see the error of my ways. I shall shovel buffalo dung as puff punishment. Uh, sorry, lad, for snapping at ye. I appreciate the thought, but the contents of these crates are my livelihood. I can't trust any passerby with their safe carriage, ye understand. And truth be told, you came at me like a chocobo taking its first steps. You need to strut with a bit of confidence if you don't want people looking at you crosswise, see? Ye good heart, lad. Anyone can see that. Work on ye manner, and I reckon your attempt at charity will go just fine. <laughs> what a wimpy hero, man. And he, is he supposed to be our hero? Or is he? Oh, he is. <laughs> mm, I can hazard a guess at what happened here, but I'd like to hear your side of the story nonetheless. Mind feeling in me and Lionel. Well, are you going to tell us? Oh, Master Ermaga, and who is this? It can't be. Is this man my replacement? Heavens for friend. I've been dismissed before my duty has even begun. Uh, there's no need for all that. Salix here is a member of the guild and he's here to help. But first, we need to know what's going on. <laughs> I, uh, you see, I was awaiting orders like you asked, but then I spied that man struggling to carry his goods. I thought to offer a helping hand, but, well, you saw how the rest went. I see. I can't fault you for trying to do good, lad, but... What he said was right. Your manner is bloody strange and has ever been since you've set foot on these sands. I don't recall you being so timid when we first met. If something's weighing on you, you needn't shy away from sharing the burden. You're too kind. The truth is, I just can't bear to have my face seen by others. All those eyes on me is... It's dreadful. Under a helmet, I have the confidence of a captain, but this heat has left me with no choice but to bear my naked face to all its sundry. I'm afraid I'm more likely to do harm than help if I can get my nerves under control. But the festivities are due to start soon, and I can seriously stand to look even you in the eyes. So that's the way of it. I appreciate your candor, lad. It's as simple as covering your face. We can get you sorted straight away. Come with me to the storehouse. I have something that you think you'll like. Oh, is it going to be one of the last year's masks? As for you, Salix, you better wait on the beach for our return. Don't worry, we'll be back before you can even break a sweat. <laughs> Da, da, da. Gosh, I, I really do. I don't know how to feel about the guy version. I would have liked us to have a bikini. <laughs> the, the girls have for the guy for the, for the, for the pants. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that is just me. I know what I am. <laughs> Hello? Oh, I guess we're going this way. Oh my god, everyone's in cutscene. Oh, sorry. Oh, don't skip cutscene. And here we are. Feast upon your eyes upon Colsta, the soul's sunshine savior. That is if I can ever click the right button. Sorry. Let's see the savior. Oh! Oh, I love the music. Oh, it has the 14 symbol on the back. I didn't know that. Blinded by his brilliance, aren't you? I had this lovely piece made by the moment I conceived of the Sunshine Savior. A special commission from the Weaver's Guild. How the hell did the Weavers put on that metal? But genius isn't always obvious, I discovered. My colleagues claimed that the coloring was too bold, the design too daring. I believe the word gaudy was tossed about, and so, with a heavy heart, I set it aside. Until today, that is. By the gods, I feel a whole foam taller. The fabric is so light, it's like I'm wearing not but my name day suit. I'm ready to take on the world and then some. I don't know about that one, Chief. Masks are hardly, are usually for hiding one's true nature, but this one is the Lionel I remember. If you ask me, he looks like the spitting image of a hero. What do you think, Salix? He sure does. It certainly suits him, get it? Suits him? 
<laughs> I'm overjoyed that you would think so. Mark my words, the sands of Costa del Sol shall remain safe under the watchful eyes of the Sunshine Savior. Now then, Lionel, consider this your official appointment as the Sunshine Savior. Go forth and remember that you carry the reputation of the Adventurer's Guild on your shoulders. Don't crumble under the weight, lad. Become a savior worthy of your namesake, and our guests will soon forget the countless monsters and maladies that lurk beneath the tides. I know you won't disappoint. Thank you, Master Ermaga. <laughs> oh my god, this is so silly. Oh, are we at the end? As a sunshine savior, I must bear all the responsibilities that the title implies. I can do this. I can overcome, become an adventure that the others speak in awe. Is this where I get the outfit? By the way, I'd like to apologize for my embarrassing conduct before. I admit a part of me is scared almost all the time, but I can't let that dictate my life and duty. Whatever happens, I swear to do all in my power to make this Moonfire Fair the safest yet. That being said, I realize I still have much to learn. I would very much appreciate the aid of a seasoned adventure such as yourself. Will you help me? Yes, of course. Thank you, Salix. I look forward to growing under your wing. Oh, wait. I think there was a second quest. Okay. Next quest. What do you got to say, Lionel? I'm ready to start whenever you are, Salix. Oh, there's the outfit. Ermaga is eager to send the Sunshine Savior forth into the sands of Costa del Sol. Lionel looks very... Every Ilm the hero. And make no mistake, the looks aren't worth a damn if his heart isn't in it. Uh, how are you feeling under that mask, lad? Up for the work ahead. About that, as much as I have to jump straight into the thick of things, I can help but harbor some small doubts. The incident with the merchant earlier made me realize that it's one matter to want to aid those in need, but another matter to entirely know who needs it. Fortunately, I have Salix on my side, a seasoned adventurer who's helped his fair share of troubled souls. I've asked him to take me under his wing for a bit and help be a quick study. Uh, you, uh, good luck, dude. That's the capital idea, lad. Every adventure has a few stories of being rewarded with scorn instead of corn. Strange it sounds, a helping hand must be deft. Besides, well then, let's revise your tasks, eh? Give you a chance to sharpen that nose of yours to the scent of unrest. Why don't you stand watch over the revelers gathered at the northeastern shores? If you ca spot trouble brewing, put a lid on it before it spills over. Alex will send attend you in a supervisory capacity before leaping into action. Ask him for advice about how to conduct yourself. He'll guide you, I've no doubt. Look at him demoting me. I'm sorry, moving around my camera. Now then, off with you. The battlefield on the beach awaits. Make me proud, you too. Make me proud. A guild member by the ma man of Budafon is standing by for someone to relieve him of his duty. Speak with him first and show the realm the measure of a sunshine savior. Da da da. Okay, speak with Budafon. Uh, I need a more original glam. So uh, I'm going to put on my black mage glam. Boom, Speedo! Yeah. No hesitation, Speedo. Uh, I kind of wish there was a fate. I don't think there's a fate with this quest. I think it's just cutscenes, but it is okay. Why, if it isn't the Sunshine Savior in the middle of a crowd, I can barely see him. Protector of the Summer Sands, please. And please, I release the beaches of Golsta that sold to your stewardship. The following event cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder restrictions. Wait, 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 wait. Let me talk to Lionel first. This is it, Salix. Time to prove myself worthy. All right, let's go. I think this is a really long cutscene. Let's go. Yes. Ah, yes. Before I go, allow me to furnish you with these Link Pearls. They're a crucial tool for the pair of strapping guardians such as yourself. Godspeed, saviors. Da, 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 da. Oh lord, help me. This is gonna be so bad. If I have to do some type of mini game, I'm y'all, I'm not good at the mini games. Da, 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 da. Alright, dude, what you got? I love the contrast between our outfits. <laughs> oh wait, this is the dude from last year! And that's uh the 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 pirate guy, the the freaking What's his name? Fran not Francel. Is it Francel? No, Francel's the other guy. What's his name? I forgot. Is the sun. Y'all know whose sun I'm talking about. Now our watch begins. Come on, Salix. Tell me what you see. If there's any trouble lurking about, the Sunshine Savior shall rise to action. I don't see Jack. 
No. I think we should look up to the right. A shifty pirate lass is sizing up because I know for the fact that the two on the left are siblings. Uh, is sizing up a nearby man quite intensely by the looks of it. Let's talk to these two. This one is actually sussy. <laughs> What are y'all doing? Bloody Caravalane. Thinks he's too good for a pirate, does he? I'll make him see. I will if I just ask him all nice like. Fancy a stroll on the beach, Caravalane, or some such vibe. He'll just think I'm itching for a duel. I don't know, maybe he's asking for a beach date. No, it's definitely a duel. She's mumbling to herself an awful lot. The menacing provocations of a pirate, no doubt. What do you think, Salix? Uh. Worry about the man. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're right. Anyone staring daggers like that can only have ill intent. I'll warn the man at once. Oh god, this is not gonna end well. Hello, I forgot... I forgot how to say your name. I really do. Ah, you got caught. <laughs> yep, goodbye, girl. <laughs> Well, at least we helped him. Good, go back to your peaceful days, Ella's and man. The pirate ran off with nary a word of explanation. I can't help but feel as if I interrupted something. Ah, well, there's no telling what could have happened. So far as I'm concerned, the Sunshine Savior can out a victory at his ledger. A young Mikote lad and last looked like a cell sword just stole their lunch. Wait, why is he sad? Oh, I, I, I misinterpreted the dialogue. I thought they were talking about the sis, the last stealing the lad's lunch. But I think I've read that completely wrong. Oh, I failed again. I'll never master the course at this rate. No, not the jumping. Come on, fool. I believe in you. But nothing I say seems to help. I wish I knew how to cheer you up. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. The lad looks absolutely crestfallen. From what I can gather, he's having some difficulties with the Urzian Nimble Warrior course. I know what it's like to feel success slip from one's grasp time and time again. Uh, show him some words of encouragement. I think I think that's what we did last year. I forget. Encouragement is my forte. A few carefully placed words should lift this lad over the obstacle in his path. Wait there, I'll be back in a flash. You can do it, Twink. <laughs> I don't think that helped. Yeah, this isn't just what we did last year. Yeah, get motivated. The casual shoes. Well, I guess it worked. <laughs> Question mark. I feel like that was a success. The pair were thankful enough and the lad seemed once again eager to tackle the course. All in all, a success for the Sunshine Savior. I see nothing amiss in the area. What about over there? Over where now? Uh, where? Over where now? Oh my god, this looks so silly. <laughs> Look at these two! Do I- am I supposed to know those two? Oh wait, that's Chloe and Zloe. Those two I do recognize. I'm sorry y'all, I'm doing this in the middle of the dark. And now our watch begins. Go on, Salix. Tell me what you see. If there's any trouble lurking around, the sunset shave yourself. Rise to action. Who the hell are these two? Like, I know Chloe and Zloe, but I, d I don't know who the other two are. I need a closer look at them before I can decide. Seriously, who are these two? Come on, jump. Jump like your life depends on it. You'll never make it from there. Watch out of your eat sand. Oh shit, someone fell off. Oh no. You have to act. You gotta do it, dude. I'm coming. Oh, did it, did, can he swim though in that outfit? Oh, he saved him. Look at that. He's a hero. I... We did it. 
I guess it all worked out. Apologies for not waiting for your guidance, Alex. I dived into the ocean without a thought of what would come next. Before I knew it, it was water under my mask. I was sure I'd meet my end there and there, but somehow I found my bearings and brought that man ashore. I suppose fortune favors the reckless, eh? And then some muscular fellows are being really creepy over my... Like, freaking, there's kids over there. What are they doing? With Chloe and Zloe. Wait, who's the third one? I don't know who the third kid is. I'm trying to remember who the third kid is. I th I'm supposed to know. Uh, are you all right, sirs? Muscles burn for more, but gods, I can barely see straight. Oh, no, that's not good. Should I call upon one of the chaperones? Oh, thank God. It's about to be sunrise. We're, we definitely need chaperones. I suppose the heat and intense exercise mix well as oil does with water. How should I offer assistance? Uh, I mean, it's nighttime, so why would I ever suggest shade? Tell them to drink plenty of fluids. Look at all those muscles. They'll be fine. Okay, we gotta choose this one. I have to. I see, but what use are muscles before the pitiless rays of the sun? At the least, I should recommend a short constitutional. Oh, <laughs> never mind. That, I guess my dialogue doesn't really matter, does it? God, it's so dark that you can barely see what these people are wearing. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know if the cut. I don't know if the cutscenes change uh, lighting like they do in Genshin. It'll probably switch to daytime by the end of this. Da, 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 da. I would like the sun to go up higher, please. Like literally, it's getting such a pain in the rear to see here. I had a word with the men, and they insisted there was nothing to worry about. Still, my duty is to dig out the roots of trouble before they break soil. And so in that, I consider this a, a success. Speaking of which, I see no further signs of distress along the beach. I believe our relief should be along soon. Truth be told, I'm glad for it. I can't bear this stifling heat for much longer. Hello. Let me move this. Still, better to be baking under the hot sun than drowning under the ocean waves. Every breath I took invited more water into my lungs. If one of the seven hells lies on the ocean floor, doubtless the floors are cast open for my arrival. Oh my god, I'm sorry y'all. Clicking in and out on controller is so bad. But I'm grateful to be alive and well. With a few feats of daring do under my belt otherwise in no smart part thanks to you as alex your sound guidance led me to take action whatever i've been paralyzed by doubt i have ermaga's costume to think too i may very well have some special power to turn the timid into the lion-hearted <laughs> impressive work you two i say you earned some rest eh allow me to watch over our patients i can only hope this stretch is half as eventful as yours was Much appreciated, Master Bo de Foyne. I suspect Master Armaga will want to hear of our success here. Let's go and make a report. Yes, 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 yes. Give me the glam! Oh my god, this... It's still... It's still the rising sun, man! I want it to be daytime at Yurzia time. I spent all of nighttime doing this quest. I wonder if there's anyone we can recognize around here. I am not doing the jumping puzzle. No. We are not doing that today. I would have rather... Uh... I don't, I don't know what I would rather do. I would rather not do any of that. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's anyone I recognize around here, but there really isn't. Like, any NPCs or anyone like that. I don't see anybody. They're probably along the tower. They were last year. Wait, we're not done with the quest yet. Did the shop open anything more? No. Okay, let's do the next cutscene. Lionel? I know I yet have a long journey ahead of me, but I hope that I've taken at least a few bounding strides towards my goal. Next cutscene. Let's wrap this story up, shall we? 
Ah, there you are. The stories of your deeds precede you. Revelers up and down the beaches are taken with your bravery. <laughs> Look at this shot. The one you plucked from the sea... Oh, screenshot. Even came to offer his personal thanks. By all accounts, your lost confidence has it been restored. More besides, I reckon you're ready to set off on your own, but I won't force it upon you if you've got lingering reservations. Well, truth be told, I wouldn't have been able to make it without Salix's help and this mask of horrors. Donnie, it makes me forget the meaning of the word impossible. Mm, you had me to realize that Salix won't be around forever, so inclined to adventuring abroad as he is, a savior needs to be able to carry their burden alone if they're about to earn the trust of others. You know, you never did tell us why you're so frightened of showing your face. Something tells me you didn't crawl out of your mother's womb with your hands covering your eyes, am I right? I uh, it happened when I was just getting my feet wet as an adventurer. During a job that should have been unremarkable. We were tasked with guarding a merchant caravan, which naturally drew the attention of a terrible slavering beast. Instead of sticking it with a spear like I was supposed to, I was knocked senseless within moments. When I regained my senses, I saw my partner had been dealt a grievous wound and that the caravan was in shambles. The job was an utter failure. For a blessing, none lost their lives, but I lost all standing in the eyes of my allies and employers. They blamed me for the injuries and damage to their goods, and rightfully so. The memory of their scornful scases is etched in my mind, and I see them every time I look, took another in the eyes. So you coped with fear by hiding behind a helm. It's starting to make sense. Aww. You know, Lionel, that suits more than a masterwork of comfort. There's a meaning behind its design, if you can believe it. Featherman. No, not Featherman. That's Persona. See, it's meant to evoke the image of a phoenix, the legendary bird that symbolizes rebirth, rising from the ashes over and over again, each time shining brighter than ever before. The phoenix shall rise again. Just like Final Fantasy 16. See, your triumphs as a sunshine savior has made me certain that the phoenix's fire burns within you, Lionel, and when the, those flames are stoked, you'll be reborn with more courage than you could have ever imagined. Yes. You know what would be really cool to have the Warrior of Light and Lionel pose together in the outfits? All this time I was wrapped in the Phoenix's embrace. Yes, if there is a chance I might be born anew, then the path ahead of me is clear. I'm heading back to the beach, this time without a mask. Oh, I don't know about that one, Chief. Something on your mind? Did I lay it on too thick? When you get to my age, you can't help but light the fires under those that need it. The lad needed something fierce, so I lit a raging bonfire under his arse just to work with the embers that were already there. That burning desire of his to help the downtrodden. Yes. Ye gad, somebody help! What happened? Oh no, what happened? Hello? Oh no, it's the thing from the fate! Oh no! Look at this circus show! Oh my god! Oh, not Zloey! Wait, no, this is- no, this is Chloe. I get their names confused all the time, huh? Not Chloe! It, you know, it's such a shame. Maybe my wondrous tales will actually get three lines now. Oh, just kidding! <laughs> Punch! Rawr, look at him being brave. Y'all should definitely run away now. Yeah, definitely. He's being brave, look at that. They're all watching. Wow. <laughs> We're all just watching this circus show unfold. Is he, what's he gonna do now? Punch him in the face! Well, what an epic shot. Oh, well, an attempt was made. Uh, maybe we should help. Uh, what's wrong with me? Uh, not so fast, Alex. If someone jumps to his rescue again, that fire I just lit will be snuffed out. We need to think of a way to help him out that doesn't involve the, all, doing all the heavy lifting. Go, Phoenix man, go! Rise from the ashes of defeat and be reborn! Look, I, I, I love Final Fantasy 16, so I have to say the references like this. Yes. 
He's right. You're our sunshine savior. So save us. Give that beast what for. Yeah. Oh, look at all the cheering. Why is most of these moon fire fairs helping out wimpy men? They really have faith in me. Go, dude, go. Yeah. Oh, not the poses. I can't let them down. I must uphold the reputation of the Sunshine Savior. I have those emotes, by the way. They're really good. Yeah. If they're on sale for the anniversary, uh, you should totally get it. Bathe in the flames of rebirth. Battle between... Oh, I can't even read the whole thing. Oh, my God. Yatta. Oh, bonk. Look at that. Man, that's so cool. They're getting better at these cutscenes. We're getting so much better at uh, cutting choreography over the years. Yeah, look at their warrior light smiling. Yeah! Go, Phoenix Man, go! That was a really fun cutscene. Alright, what you thinking? The lie looks unharmed, a small miracle, all things considered. I came in as fast as I could, but it seems I was not needed. Lionel made me really a stew out of the shark, didn't he? It seems Ermago was right about him. And then what about the siblings? That was so scary. <laughs> I thought it would eat me. Are you hurt, Chloe? You know, it might have not been a bad thing. Maybe I would get three lines more often. Thank heavens he was here. I didn't know what I'd do if Chloe came to any harm. <laughs> um, are you okay? <laughs> that was so frightening but exciting at the same time. I'm gonna write about you in my diary. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Chloe's safe and it's all because of you. But it was only, uh, never mind that. You're most welcome, of course. Da 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 I'm not sure what to call what just happened, but the word miracle comes to mind. Did I truly vanquish the bloodthirsty brute of a shark? That you did without a single scratch on our guests. You showed them what the Sunshine Savior stands for and gave them a display they won't soon forget. All on your own, too. But even... A savior is an invincible, eh? Go and bother the foe and get yourself checked. Wouldn't want you to get done in by a few scrapes. <laughs> so Alex and I will keep an eye on things here in case any of seaborn predators come to decide to try their luck. Are we done? Are we done? We're done! Give me that outfit. Wait, let me see this. No, the shop still hasn't changed yet. Is there anyone else I can talk to? Oh my god, I'm trying to see if there's any NPCs. This is what day one of new content always looks like in this game. Oh my god, some of these people's glams are so funny. Alright, let's talk to you. Let's wrap this up, shall we? <laughs> what y'all thinking? Ah, you've returned. Yes. <laughs> Thanks to you two, talk of the Adventurers Guild is on the lips of all gold studded soul. As far as I'm concerned, we can consider the Sunshine Savior a rousing success and boon for the guild. Lionel here deserves a standing ovation for the bravery he displayed, taking down a fiend like that and keeping the youngling safe as a feat very few can boast of. Yeah. As my vision dimmed, I heard Salix call out to me. It was his words that delivered me from the blink and allow me to go further still. They may call me the Sunshine Savior, but you're the true hero of the day. You've given me the courage to go on alone, and for there is no way I can repay you. Uh, just to keep doing your thing, dude. Indeed, our savior had a savior of his own, a fact that we're all grateful for. If I'm a mind to make you an honorary Sunshine Savior suit and all, wear it well, and don't ask me how many more of these I've stashed away. Now go on, forget your worries and take in your fill of the festivities for the boot fire fair is safe so long as Lionel here stands as its guardian. Aye, I shall remain vigilant for any signs of trouble and if aught appears to threaten the peace. 
I'll be there to stop it. Yeah. Wait, can we all post together? I would love to have one post with everybody. No? Ah, man. Let's read this. Oh, it doesn't have any descriptions. Oh, cannot equip with arm, leg, foot, or l shoe gear. Yay. We did it. Hot bird summer. I reckon you're proud to call yourself an honorary sunshine savior. But we've got Lionel to protect us from now on. Go on and enjoy yourself for once. Did the shop update now? No, the shop doesn't have anything special. Is that our savior? Wait, I want to do the emote. It's all is clear on these festive shores, of course. We have you to thank for this people reprieve, but now the stewardship of the Moonfire for false to be. I will stand vigilant day and night. I promise to make you proud, Salix. I love that these Moonfire Bears are always stories of just wimpy guys, and we turn them into brave heroes. Who is this? Look at the little, little general. Wait, the Lopperits are here. Aw, look at them. What are they thinking? I hear a master of making confectionaries has come to enjoy the festivities. Who? Oh no, am I gonna have to climb across the t Oh no, 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 no. Who else can we find around here? I wanna keep looking for people. There's dancers here. If, come, if trouble comes knocking, the sunshine scary will scare it away. I love seeing everyone come in. Uh, I'm we're just gonna run around a bit longer and see who we can find around here. We we couldn't find Zloe. There actually aren't that many NPCs out this year. The colors of the summer should lend themselves so splendidly to the new garments. No, 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 no. But yeah, that is the Moonfire Fair, everyone. Oh, wait, I found Chloe and Zloe. Oh, thank God, Chloe is safe. That's all? You weren't scared, Chloe? Of course not, Takebe. The savior was amazing. I literally forgot about Takebe, I'm gonna be honest. I love the squatting. What do y'all gotta say? Don't worry. When it comes to water... We're filled to the brim. Oh my god. Okay, I think we've seen some of the NPCs around here. Someone said there's a breathtaking beast in next to the course. Really? Promise we'll go later. Uh, that is if I could ever make it over there. I don't know. I, I, this video's already going on for so long. I just wanted to see the NPCs and include them. I guess I could try on the outfit, shouldn't I? Equip and equip. Boom. Oh, I really like this on Ellison. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see if there's any NPCs we can encounter along the way. I did this course last year, so you think I would remember how to do it, right? Okay, who's around here? Oh, it's that guy from earlier. <laughs> I can do this, maybe. I can't fall. Not again. Every failure just makes you stronger. Show us what you're made of. I always do the bombs. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I always, always, always do the bombs. Come on, just a little further. I always, always, always do the bombs. Oh, shit. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh wait, the bears are here! The only thing better than watching desserts is watching everyone stumble into the sea. Wait, I gotta do one of the poses here. Move, Aura man! I, I'm gonna do the Black Ranger pose, like this. Yatta! Yay, I'm so happy the teddy bears are back. Oh, this looks so good. Move, girl! <laughs> I always gotta do this. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Yes. Why is it foggy? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, I missed out on it again. I need the colors in the background. This is too perfect. Wait for it. Come on. Hello? Oh, my God. Oh, there it is. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, wait. I love that the L doesn't have little ears on it, too. I don't know if there's any other NPCs to encounter around here. I did not even mess with that one. I don't think there's any recognizable NPCs around here. You almost have it, my lord. <gasps> Wait! The kid is here with... Uh, is, is a monolane up here then? Oh no. I'll climb you good. Oh shit, I almost fell off the edge already. Wait, is that a monolane? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip this. Wait. This might be beyond me. Oh my god, seeing all these people here. Oh god, 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 oh god. Oh god. I'm not even jumping and I'm stressed out. So many bombs. Eek! Oh shit. Run, 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 run! Easy does it now. Run, 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 run. Oh, wait. The, oh, my God. The girl from the... That's quite a few bombs that need a short supply. Don't worry not. Oh, my God. I, we love the Viera. The scientist girl is here. Oh, no. The cat boy is here. Wait. So, where is... Oh, wait. His base is here, too. Guess your blue blood's not much, but worth much here, eh? Oh, what the... So yeah, that's a monolane and Sigurd, I believe this guy's name is. Man, that's so funny. What do you have to say? Ugh, I can't do any better than this. So yeah, I am not doing the jumping puzzle, but I love seeing all the NPCs here, and I'm glad I got to see them. Let's go this way. Is there anyone else here? I love this so much. This is a very good spot for G-posing. Oh, see, these girls are G-posing together. But yeah, I guess this is a very good vista. And I guess I'm going to stop my coverage for Moonfire Fair here. It's already been 40 minutes. I just wanted to check it all out. No, 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 no Black Mage weapon, just G-pose. Yeah! Yeah! So yeah, if you made it to this point of the video, thank you so much for watching. I love the Moonfire Pair every year, so I really wanted to take my time. Bam! Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. Bye, friends.